Africa was inhabited by people long before there were people anywhere else. So it seems likely that vocal and instrumental music and dance began there. The first stringed instrument, the musical bow, is believed to have descended from the bow and arrow, which, on the basis of the earliest known arrow shaft components, appears to have originated in Africa 20,000 years ago. Here are 16 pieces of African music, each linked to a pictorial theme. The first selection, an orchestral piece by the Yoruba composer Fela Sawande, is nostalgic, reflecting perhaps a time gone forever. The next selection was recorded half a century ago on the bank of a river in Central Africa. A tape recorder appears to have been placed on the bank because we hear, at first faintly, then with increasing volume, the voice of a lone boatman singing. His boat heads towards and past the spot where the recorder was placed. His voice recedes into the distance. The South African musician Pops Mohammed calls this piece communal well. It tinkles with dancing droplets of water and reminds us what a treasure water is. 
Kalahari Bushmen sometimes have to dig it out of the sand, or sip it from holes in the trunks of trees. It is a treasure to all plants and animals. musical selection comes from Central Africa, the dance and instrument images are from many parts of the continent. Oh, 
Who would not be pleased to know that they would be sent on their way by this funeral song? Drums and a few voices produce a volume of sound filling the heavens with a completeness that a full modern symphony orchestra and choir could barely equal, if at all. The Lozi King no longer leads his people by canoe in annual migration from the Barotsi floodplain to higher ground. No longer do priests pass in procession beside the line of stone rams which lead to the temple of the great god of Egypt. The walls of Zimbabwe are now only a tourist site. The bejeweled and ivory leopards of ancient Benin are housed in a European museum. Fifty centuries of African kingdoms has passed away.
sober, composed a fellow so one day, out for a walk, overheard a woman crooning to her baby. He returned home and began work on this movement of his suite for strings, based on what he had heard. The feelings expressed by this lullaby extend to all young people on their way to the responsibilities of adulthood.
Apart from a map made by a 15th century Portuguese, the photographs in this segment date from the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Jumba 
45 RPM disc weekend was playing over the airwaves in West Africa, in Southern Africa, and in East Africa during 1974 and 1975. A sound of pure enjoyment with anticipation. <laughs>
Sisters is encapsulated in the African proverb, if a child shoots an arrow that reaches the top of a tall palm tree, then it must be that an elderly person carved the arrow for him. Fine, <laughs> Sleep and indolence, Africans say, are not cousins of a good harvest.
Another African proverb. However long the night, the day is sure to follow. Sacred melody were born in Africa.